uh, stick around with us uh, because we're now going to be joined by uh, Leo Gerard. He is a president of the United Steelworkers International Union. Uh, the Motor City slowdown forcing steelmakers now to lay off or idle workers. There's that um, trick, that ripple effect that a lot of people, like the congressman, talking about it, how this will affect the broader economy. Uh, there's also an international element with Japan thinking about shutting down steel furnaces. Uh, perhaps the steel industry may need some assistance, bail out anyone as well. Uh, let's uh, welcome to Happy Hour Leo. Uh, thanks for coming on this show, sir. Uh, first of all, give us, our, our viewers, some background about why now the steel industry is doing what some auto factories have to do, shut down or idle. Is it be related to the auto industry troubles? Let me just say that it's not only related to the auto industry, it's related to the whole collapse of the financial sector on, on Wall Street. And this is not the first collapse. This is one of many collapses since we deregulated the financial sector. We've had no trouble throwing money at Wall Street, whether it was uh, Goldman Sachs, whether it was Citibank, whether it was AIG. We've been shoveling money at them, not asking them to bring forward a plan, not asking them why they're structure didn't work, not asking their management to quit flying on their private jets. Yet when we came to the folks who work with their hands and make things, we're making them dance through hoops. Absolutely. If the cars aren't being sold, and I, I'll tell you this, I was in a car lot in Pittsburgh on Saturday. There was no one in the car lot to buy a car. It wasn't because it was a good car. It wasn't a good car. It's because, it, let me say, right. It's, All it's, right, Eric, well, take well, on that well, one. Well, well, here, here's the issue, sir. Um, you're, you have about 1.2 million members in, in your union, is that right? Million active and retired, yes, sir. Okay, so a million two. UAW has 494,000, so you're substantially bigger than them. My concern is if you go ahead and bail out the big three, you're next in line saying, hey, you bailed them out, they're, they're benefiting, the UAW why, why, is benefiting why, why, why from this. Why, why aren't you? We? Why weren't why weren't you saying that when we're shoveling money hand over fist to AIG and Goldman Sachs and Citibank about their model? No, but let me, let me finish. Sure, you asked sure. me the question. The fact of the matter is that this is a, a model that where the whole economy is collapsing around us. We blame it on workers that uh, the big three who make $57,000 a year have some pension, have some health care. We've got a retiree model where we're asking the big three to provide retiree health care benefits to over a million retirees when that should be a matter of, of social responsibility the way it is in Japan, the way it is in Korea, the way it is in Germany that you just referenced with BMW. The fact of the matter is that we bailed out the financial community because we said Citibank and AIG and the others were cornerstone of the financial community. Well, the auto industry is the cornerstone of North American manufacturing. If the auto industry goes down, there'll not be one or two or three other bankruptcies. There'll be thousands of bankruptcies. We represent people that make tires, that make seats, that make auto parts, that make seat belts, that make the windshields, that make the steel, that make the aluminum. All that goes into a car. Right. And, and right. We, let, me, let me answer. And, and when... And when we, well, well, let, sir, let, you me make, let me make I, I will, I'll answer your question. Let, the let, difference let, for I me. Not, let, let me make one. La, let me make one last point. Will you? Okay, go ahead. The fact, that, the fact of the matter is that the transplants that you keep referring to, they import half of their cars, and when they make a car in America, they're making it with imported parts. They're assembling cars with imported parts, and even they can't sell cars right now. Their sales are down 33 percent. Big three cars are good cars. They're solid cars. I've driven one all my life and never had a problem. My, the, the answer to your question, sir, is the difference for me between the financial system and a U.S. auto, a car. When I put my ATM card in, I hope to get my money back. I will still buy a Ford or GM car if the price is right, even if you're in Chapter 11. I know you are USW, not UAW. However, Ron Gettlefinger had the perfect opportunity today, and he'll have another opportunity tomorrow, saying we will renegotiate the hourly wage. He's making why, a lot why, of concessions. Why aren't, why, why, I, I get offended by you and people like that that want to blame on the workers. Why weren't you saying that to, to the folks at Goldman Sachs and Citibank? Why aren't you telling them they ought to work for nothing for what they've done to this economy? Why aren't you telling I, them this I, I is... Think we have. Let me finish. Hey, this Leo, is the fourth, a, fifth, look. sixth, or seventh. This is the fourth, fifth, or sixth, or seventh economic collapse on Wall Street. Every time it collapses, I lose my pension benefits. I'm sick and tired of that stuff. Leo, let's talk more now uh, about your industry, the uh, steel industry. Uh, give us some background into 
you know, how dire it is out there. U.S. Steel is saying, okay, we're going to idle uh, three plants. We're going to lay off uh, 3,500 workers. You know, th th is this just the beginning if this economic crisis continues? Is there a lack of access to credit because these banks aren't lending the taxpayer money it's, that they're supposed to? It's, it's absolutely one of the many reasons. Let me calm myself down. The, the, <laughs> fact of the, the fact of the matter is we have 29 blast furnaces in North America. 19 of them now are on shutdown or reduced production. Uh, we've got companies that make heavy equipment, whether it's construction equipment or whether or not. We make steel for, for construction that isn't being done. We make steel for bridges that aren't being done. We make steel for the auto industry not being done. Uh, we make aluminum. We make tires. We make uh, glass. Our union represents the diverse manufacturing manufacturing sector in North America, they're all in free fall. And the part of the reason they're in free fall is to get back to someone who wants to put their credit card in and add more debt from their ATM machine. Uh, we got to put an end to this. We've idolized Wall Street and we've punished Main Street. Well, and as we've idolized Wall Street, we've seen the destroying Main Street. We well, need to go back to make it. We got to go back to making things, having a strong manufacturing economy and rebuild the wealth of America. We can't do it by manipulating money and creating false phony housing bubbles and tech bubbles. Well, let me ask you, there, there, there's a point to that because people are saying, hey, we've got to start making solid stuff here in this country, not just making money off of repackaging this and repackaging that and this fancy financial instrument to invest in this and, or that. I'm going to answer his question, though. He, he, he do, basically do, do, says... Do, 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 you, do you think the people that package... Do you think the people that package these phony, phony mortgages and these Ponzi schemes actually didn't know what they were doing? They knew what they were doing. They wanted to get out before it collapsed. Some of these people ought to be brought up on charges. Absolutely, sir. If you, if you watch Happy Hour, we've absolutely said that. I was in favor of somehow saving the financial system, but anyone that cooked the books... Lehman Brothers, Merrill Lynch, Bank of America, City, go to jail, prosecute them, find out what they're doing, send them to jail. Here's the issue, though, sir. If you give the U.S. auto industry $34 billion, what's that going to do for you? Steel prices have gone from $1,100 a metric ton to somewhere around 600 and that's because of the globe slowing down, not the U.S. auto industry. What the, is $34 the, the, billion going to do the, for you? The, 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 the globe is slowing down because of the what collapsed again, another series of corruption and, and Ponzi schemes on Wall Street. The fact yeah, of the that matter lack is... Of if confidence. We, the, the fact of the matter is... If we were to put the money where it was supposed to be, people would be going to buy cars. General Motors, Ford, and Chrysler are not able to send cars. They're, they're their market dropped by huge amounts in the last 30 days because people can't get credit. Let me tell you again, I, I, I live in Pittsburgh. I went up a road called McKnight Road. has at least 10 or 15 car lots on that road. It's, it's Miracle Mile, as we called it. Right. I went into those car lots, and there was not a single person on a Saturday afternoon in there looking to buy a car, whether it was whether it was a German car, whether it was a Chinese car, whether it was yeah. a Japanese well, well, Leo, that's car, was American they can't, car. They can't get loans and that's from because the banks. They can't, and that's because they can't get credit. So we have to make sure that the big three, who are the foundation of the manufacturing economy in America, survive. Leo, and they're not ask, let, 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 last point, they're not asking for a bailout. They're asking for a loan. We've been bailing out Wall Street. We've been shoveling money at them with no promise that we'll get it back. Absolutely, the big three Leo. Want we, a loan, the, the big three want a loan, and they're willing to pay it we, back when they turn the business around. We've been around. making it very clear that it's, it's a loan that they're asking for with a hope to pay it back. Leo Gerard. Thank you, Leo Gerard. Thank well, let's you very much. Let's quit using, the, let's quit using the term bailout. Okay. With you okay. some more, sir. Leo Look Gerard. To quit using the term bailout and call it a loan. All right, you guys, final word. Leo Gerard, thank you very much. He is a president of the United Steelworkers International Union. All right, we'll make him a regular. On tap, quick shots.